people have described education as a journey and a journey of discovery. And so we take the metaphor and we actually apply that to our learning here on campus where the students, they get to see the world. Everybody wants to take part in learning about someone else and then teaching someone else what they've learned. It would be real easy to expect that on a small campus like this you'd get people that are just kind of parochial and really don't think about anything but central Missouri, but they're not. They're incredibly well educated, they're exposed to a wide variety of things. The best part of Woods Around the World is that it's trying to feed curiosity and it's also trying to develop compassion in our students where they can actually empathize with the stories of other people from different cultures. I was able to go to the School for the Deaf, which is down the street, and volunteer with a deaf faculty member there and work within her classroom. That really was able to give me more of a language model than what I was getting just within the classroom. Our students are able to access the deaf population in Fulton, Columbia, Jeff City, Mexico, and the surrounding areas. And those are great opportunities for our students to um, put to work the skills that they've learned in the classroom, but also to have a better understanding of the profession. I majored in elementary education, and from the time I was a freshman, I was out in the schools in Fulton. When I went to get my master's at a very large university, those people had never been out in the classroom until they student taught. I had that hands-on experience here at William Woods University, and the students today have that. Like any program that's very hands-on, it's so important that the students get a feel for what it will be like once they graduate from William Woods. If you can work on it and put it piece to piece, see it work, see it not work, troubleshoot it, I think you'll learn a lot more than just reading a textbook.